Yo, what's good, guys? I'm here with Randall, my man over there, what and Mike over there. Yo, today we're doing arms, and today we're going to do all the things that can make your session intense. Now, you can use these with all your other exercises, but today it's all arms, so we're going to be doing 21s, we're going to do drop sets, and we're going to do supersets. Normally, you wouldn't do all of these things in a, you know, one session, but I just want to show you guys the ways that you can make your sessions more intense and, uh, you know, just up, up the levels, man. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Let's get a pump first, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a pump first. Yeah. 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 Any exercise you do, you don't want to go straight in. It's funny, the other day at the gym, I had a guy come up to me because he saw me on bench press. And um, he saw me like strip the bar from the person that used it last down to just the bar. And I started using it. And then later on, he saw me go up to like three, four plates. And he came over and he was like, do you normally do that? Do you normally start like it's light? And I'm like, always. And that's every exercise, like, just the bar. First, I want to get my get, get the, mo um, the movement. I want to get the um, lubrication in the, in the joints. That's synovial fluid. Just you know, I, I need to be ready before I start pressing or start squatting or anything like that. So, yeah, it's just uh, always start light, man. Is part of it a mental thing too? Like, do you like to picture? It's, like it's, 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 obviously I've been doing it for however long, but the mechanics, you still need to each day go over it before you, right. you know, you don't want to, yes, I could probably walk up to a, a, a deadlift and have five plates on it and just lift it. Right. But I don't want to do that, like, because that's how injuries happen, right. you know? So, um, yeah, like, always warm up. Okay guys, so uh, we're all warm and we're going to do the first intensifier and that's 21s. A lot of you guys, you've probably already done it, so you guys can either watch or move to the next one. <laughs> but um, for those of you who haven't, 21s goes something like this. Okay, we'll do 7 to uh, low range, 7 from the top to the middle and then 7 full range reps. I'm going to have Mike, you know, give me the, the, the barrier of where to hit and yeah, I'm going to go for it. 21 reps, different ranges. Let's go. Simple as that, 21s. So uh, yeah. that's one for you to try. got the movement but you've seen us doing it in a partner so you know find a friend and do it however you can do it on your own so obviously it's not going to be a physical hand in front of you so that would mean you know coming up like so so you can do it on your own just like that or from the top 
like so. Only difference is with a hand there, just gives you that, you know, that note of, ah, oh, this is why I need to stop. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is drop sets. Again, you probably know it, but this is like great for you beginners that if you wanna make your session harder or you just wanna, you know, kill a last set, this is something that you can do. So we're gonna do drop sets with hammer curls. And um, we've got, we've lined up the dumbbells down here. Do you wanna show that? We've lined up down here. And um, we've, we've chosen three drops. Now you can make a drops as long as you like. I remember back in the day, I used to do some long drops, dumbbells all the way lined back, and you just go through it, go through the motions, go through the motions. So um, your rep range, it's completely up to you. However, mostly with drop sets, you'd go to failure. Because why not? You know, it's, it's, it's normally done probably on your last set and you just want to finish strong. So you'd probably go to failure. But and, uh, yeah, so we're going to hit hammer curls, drop sets. Let's go. I'm going to start unilaterally with the heavier weight and then I'm probably going to move to double after. is we did the drop sets, but I also threw in something else that you can add a nice switching from doing at the same time to unilaterally. Yeah, that, that's another way to get that last bit out. I'm spent. <laughs> the whole objective is to go to failure anyway, right? If I get to 80 pounds and I can only do two and I'm really trying, that's like doing 20, you know what I'm saying? To, a, to fresh arms. So it's, it's just pushing your body past failure. All of the, the reps that you get that are kind of easy that you can really get, don't count. Everything you're doing is for those final couple reps. That's when you stimulate growth. Okay, okay. Okay. Upsets, baby. I like that. You don't want to upset me. If you think drop sets is bad, this is the worst. Because you just know it's going to get harder and harder and harder. I'm not happy about this.
the trick. Don't think this isn't burning. This is burning no matter how light it is. In fact, sometimes this weight will fall worse than the heavy one. Yeah. I don't even feel like I'm holding anything. <laughs> you know what sucks? Ooh. What sucks for the drop set is when you get down to that lightweight and it feels the same. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I've done? I've done. I've done little tricks when I've been training with people where, where you know when those people that you know are stronger than they know. Right. So I play tricks on them, and instead of taking off, you know, a big chunk, right. I take a little satin yeah. off, yeah. and then they they're working yeah. like yeah, you took like, and then later on they realize I only right. took a little satin off, you know. It's all mental. Yeah, placebo, placebo, exactly. placebo, 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 man. <laughs> Guys, quickly, um, so um, Randall said, was talking about how he uh, hammers is better for him instead of doing um, uh, bicep curls at the moment because of his wrist. Um, a lot of you guys, I think I did a post on this when you were asking, you know, should you do hammers, should you do bicep curls? And I say, look, it's do a mix of both. Uh, but I will say that hammers does hit your brachioradialis more. So uh, for you guys, I I've never trained forearms. Have you trained forearms? Not really. Have you trained forearms? You know, no. and yet all of us are going to have like some solid forearms. So whether you need to train them or not, I would say, not really, but depends if, if they're really like lacking behind, then maybe you might want to isolate them. But for the most part, most people I know don't train forearms, you know? You know what, actually, I, I used to train forearms oh, when I was to. younger. Okay, when younger, yeah. I do recommend you new, new dudes doing that, do every fucking thing. Yeah. There was a dope ass uh, uh, machine, I actually bought one for Miami. Yeah. When you, you, uh, you plate load it, yeah. you sit on it, and you squeeze it like this. Okay. It's perfect. You yeah, no, they, they, um, there's loads of devices you can even buy where you just squeeze. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, for me. Or you can even do these. Yeah, 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 yeah that's another little exercise. I recommend uh, new, newbies doing it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Build a foundation, do everything. True. Do everything. True. But what I would say is that hammers hit your bracket radialis like good enough, man. That's so. it too. Yeah. That's it too. <laughs> do it all. Because, because just giving advice from what I used to do, I used to do every exercise you could think of. I didn't want to miss nothing. So I used to do it all. So I say do it. When you're young, do it. You got the energy. Then when you get to a point to where you develop a solid base of muscle and strength, you don't have to do everything. You know what I'm saying? Look, I don't like the energy to do everything. I'm like, fuck that. I got something else to do. Y'all young, do everything. I'll, I'll say something contrary to that. You have to analyze your physique. Mm -hmm. I say yeah. you have to analyze your physique and see what needs most work. Then you can allocate your time to the, to the most important things. And time is something that you know we all have little of. So you're gonna wanna make sure it's efficient when you train. So for me personally, if it was lack, lacking, then yeah, I'd say it. But um, I just know that regardless of whether we target or not, a lot of people don't. Mm -hmm. And we all seem to have solid forearms, mm -hmm. so you know. Okay, so we yeah. arguing now. Yeah, we are. We having a fight, <laughs> we're, we're gonna do the last one. The last one now is supersets. Uh, superset is basically, what, normally with a superset, I would personally do an agonist and an antagonist muscle. So that means if I'm doing uh, a bench press, I wanna come off and I wanna do like a bent over roll, so chest and back. However, today, um, we're gonna do a superset just on bias. So today's like bicep intensive. Bicep, biceps intensive. So um, yeah, we're gonna do spider curls, and then after spider curls, we're gonna burn out with uh, some, uh, Resistance band curls, proper burnout. Okay. Uh, resistance bands, the wider you go, the more resistance you got. So, uh, quite wide. Just gonna pump them out. Ooh, that lactic acid. You're a broke fast. Band give a different type of resistance than the dead weight. And I like that shit. I like that shit a lot. All right, so if you use a band, you wanna make it tougher, spread your feet, and take up more slack, go lower, make it hard as fuck.
Buff yet? Did it work? <laughs> Did it work? Uh, I think we good. Guys, those are the tips. So, um, you know, go try them out. And again, you can use these um, intensifiers with all of your workouts. So you can do it on back, you can do it on chest, everything. But yeah, today we did it on arms and we only did it on biceps. So there's a lot more to show you. So stay tuned for more videos.